so uh, Matt on channel Quantum of Conscience mentioned um, what's the point of the Divine Feminine how does it help him and uh, it's a valid question so as I see it um, First of all, I will not be able to explain this in a good way because I, do, I don't understand it fully yet. Uh, but um, I believe that I'm in, in the initial stages of understanding this. Uh, I definitely have had the, the sense of this as... Uh, as a spiritual thing I understood it but uh, there, it needs to be more uh, concrete um, and what's the point of it you see and so um, right now there is no that there is no um, proper way to explain it which which is uh, culturally um, accepted you know if I were to tell you the primitive thoughts that I have in my mind it would just sound uh, maybe even uh, a bit disgusting because I'm, th I'm uh, to be honest it's like um, this uh, this uh, uncertainty about uh, sexuality which is in in society uh, different uh, I, the idea of that you don't really have uh, I mean that the idea that you are not you don't have a sex you see this idea is not entirely incorrect uh, because um, and, and again th this is a way to 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 make you to make you hate uh, spiritual development because uh, I see this spiritual divine feminine as as an implication of something like we are all the same and something like okay I, I can tell you my primitive thoughts um, yeah it's just in the beginning of, of development so I will be able to express this better in like a few months maybe or half a year um, I will probably understand this fully in like half a year I don't know um, so primitive thoughts um, we have um, so imagine imagine um, an hourglass an, an hourglass of sand um, but the sand is not running into another the, the the bottom side of the hourglass but the hourglass is the sand from the hourglass is running into another hourglass which has the same shape so you have uh, you have this shape of an hourglass the sand is is uh, slowly sipping down and you have another hourglass below it which sips down into another hourglass and you have hourglasses after hourglasses of this um, holy grails an holy grail that is sipping into another holy grail and so where every every part of this is is a uh, is the, re the reality of, of our our sexuality I, I I don't know if I want to use that word because sexuality is is uh, is something that has to do with the physical and when it comes to the physical 
there are males and there are females, right? Uh, but when it comes to the spiritual, I, I, I like to see it almost as if there is a female, you see. Uh, and uh, the, your mind is, is a cup. Your mind is a cup of, of this holy grail, and and the divine is pouring in, in in the the sand from the hourglass, and you are as a, as a you as a man is pouring into uh, what you believe is a woman. <laughs> you believe so you 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 do that, and, and the woman. What you see in a woman is actually maybe her spirituality, but you know this is very abstract. This is just um, it's 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 more like fractal thoughts. Like if the fractal would be complete and perfect, if the fractal would be perfect of the spirituality and, and the holy grail and all of this. Then it would mean that you as a man, you, you interact with the, the female, which is the spiritual aspect of a being, which maybe is a male in another uh, dimension, you could say. So you pour your, your seed into into that holy grail of her which you believe is her reproduction area but actually maybe it's her mind you, you pour it into a reproduction which you believe is a reprodu reproduction but it's it's her mind and you pour it there and, and so she is you know so in in a sense this idea this these uh, ideas that can seem very sick, you, you know, they seem extremely sick, these theories about um, transgender and all of this, it, it seems to me, okay, to be honest, but still there seems to be this po poetic truth hidden within it, which I cannot just look away from, um, and it has to do with this, with this holy grail being being something that that receives it's literally you can see this in the alchemical egg which is a very very old idea from from alchemy that you are you are this egg you are to be fertilized i i believe and and you and the fertilization is is the illumination you illuminate and uh, and this uh, makes you metamorphize, which means that you grow inside the egg uh, and you break the shell. And, and uh, so, um, but, but this, this uh, sexual, sexual talk in society in, in modern time is, is uh, 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 yeah, it's, I, I don't know the, the correct word. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look good, right? It doesn't look good. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, th I think it's, it's a bit irritating to have to watch a movie. And I will have to feel how it feels to have like... Um, homosexual thoughts I have to be in the mind of the homosexual in the movie you know I watch I watch something and I am forced to be in that mindset and I'm thinking why is it like this um, is it is it only about having a sick society and just spreading sickness uh, and I'm thinking that maybe not maybe this is a uh, a sign of some higher truth when it comes to this holy grail and as i said i cannot express this in a good way and i'm still doing it a bit but um, maybe in 
a long time I will be able to express this you know uh, but at this time uh, it at this time it, it sounds bad you know but uh, I, I believe it's something it's something like this you know and uh, the lack of under understanding between the male and the female that there is a lack of pri priority like why in reality do we do we do we differ in priorities why are we so different when it comes to what's important in life and, and so on uh, why is it like this it, it's really it's really a bit of a torture to be to be different and to have um, when we are supposed to cooperate um, so um, why does it have to be like this and and the idea is that um, maybe we are the same but we're just living in different iterations of dimensions like none really better than the other but some iterations where uh, I mean yeah, as I said you believe that you fertilize a woman and her and her um, her, her, her stuff there but what you're really doing is pouring the divine into her mind, you know, and making her manifestate, ma uh, manifest her, her reality, you know, in some other dimension where you're not even present. I mean, you're just, uh, uh, you're just a metaphysical existence, you know, and this metaphysical existence of you as a man could explain why we don't really have good contact you know between men and female it's really hard to understand each other uh, and uh, it would explain it because why would we differ so much in priorities it doesn't make sense um it doesn't really make sense you know and uh, yeah so Imagine, as I said, holy grails being like, uh, like um, hourglasses, uh, and the, the the bottom part of the holy grail it it goes with sand to another holy grail below it, and uh, and it goes like that, um, just iteration after iteration of something something divine over the divine, and and you know. I like that idea because it's a bit fractal like and the fractal seems to be a good way to think about things um, so yeah and uh, and this also would fit well to the old ideas of how I mean, there is this old idea in religion, in Abrahamic religions, that um, the man is in contact with God, and in somehow, in some way, the the, the woman is uh, has her man. You see, uh, and um, I like this idea. To be honest, it's logical, uh, but yeah, it also fits to this. To this um, um, uh, psychological theory about the shadow mind having the anima for the man, which is um, a female. There's actually a female version of, or, or there's a f like the perfect female is inside the man. So you ask yourself, where is where is the best female? you see where is it well it's in your it's in your mind you will you will never see it it's it's there inside your mind the perfect female and uh, i'm not saying that that it, it's it's def it definitely exists you see uh, i'm not saying it doesn't exist it's it's not in your imagination uh, the perfect female is not in your imagination it's there in your mind and it's the holy grail 
that receives the fertilization because it's beautiful to the divine you see and so you uh, yeah and I, I guess that's it just some thoughts and if this is correct or not I will be able to realize I believe but in reality it makes uh, men into gods you see and I'm not entirely sure I like that kind of uh, way of thinking but uh, because we you see uh, men become a god to a woman you see and um, um, it's logically pleasing logically it's not about my ego here uh, so to say um, it was the divine feminine that made me realize this and it makes sense but uh, so yeah in, in a way in a way uh, if you're a female the god is your man in some sense in some logical sense but I don't know if, if I can if I can uh, uh, maybe this will change my you see it, it's very ex experimental thoughts about what's the point of all of this and and so on uh, but um, and uh, I'm not trying to disrespect anyone or any group of people here not at all in in a sense maybe we're, maybe we're all the same it's just different iterations of the same you see um, uh, so uh, in a sense maybe we're all um, you see the materialism materialism um, it has it has the word matter matter in it and matter has to do with mother mother matter you see and so what's being fertilized is the matter you see and and so the physical world is in some sense the the matter, the female. Okay, let, let's end this video. It's just very exper experimental thoughts. Have a good day. Bye bye.